it is estimated that more than 35% of people aged 20 or above with high blood sugar levels have chronic kidney disease. This shows that diabetes is one of the major causes of risk factors that can decrease GFR, glomerular filtration rate, and lead to CKD. It is important to note that people with mildly low GFR between 60 and 89 might not indicate kidney disease, especially if there is no sign of kidney damage, such as the presence of high protein in the urine. People with mildly low GFR need regular checkups to make sure that their GFR levels get back to normal levels before their kidneys get too damaged. But you might be surprised to know that simply having a healthy and balanced diet overall can also increase your GFR and lower creatinine levels. On the other hand, certain foods can do the opposite and can damage our kidneys. It's important to avoid the bad ones and adopt the good ones at the same time if you want to repair your kidneys and increase their GFR. So, let's learn about some of the best foods that can help increase GFR and lower creatinine levels. We'll also briefly talk about some everyday foods that can contribute to kidney damage or may even worsen it. But before moving on to our list of good foods, let's learn how GFR and creatinine are related to each other and what are their normal levels. GFR measures kidney function. Kidneys filter blood through tiny vessels called glomeruli. The more blood that passes through, the more efficient the filtration and the healthier the kidneys. Usually, about 60 to 120 milliliters of blood is filtered per minute through glomeruli. It means that if your GFR is lower than 60, you might have kidney disease. What we eat affects our kidney health. Eating too much meat or protein-rich foods can increase creatinine levels in the blood. Processed meats can also trigger inflammation, damaging the glomeruli, and causing high creatinine levels or kidney disease. Usually, GFR is calculated by measuring creatinine levels in the blood. High levels of creatinine in the blood indicate low GFR. Normal levels of creatinine range from 0.6 to 1.2 mg per deciliter for men, and between 0.5 to 1.1 mg per deciliter for women. Creatinine comes from muscle tissue breakdown and protein digestion. Normal levels are below 1.3 mg per deciliter in men and 1.1 mg per deciliter in women. Healthy kidneys can handle temporary increases from meds or protein-rich food, returning to normal over time. Now, let's learn about eight foods that can help increase GFR and lower creatinine levels. Number one. Cauliflower. Cauliflower offers various health benefits, especially for people with chronic kidney disease. This vegetable contains nutrients like antioxidants, vitamin C, and folate that are good for overall kidney health. Not only that, cauliflower is also low in potassium and phosphorus, which is important for CKD patients as managing the electrolyte levels for less functional kidneys is crucial. Cauliflower is also a great source of vitamin C, a well-known antioxidant with anti-inflammatory properties that might help reduce the risk of kidney disease, heart disease, and even cancer. Vitamin C in one cup of cauliflower provides 58% of the daily value that might also help boost the immune system, contributing to overall health. Cauliflower also contains another important antioxidant that might help in managing risk factors for kidney disease. Research shows that sulforaphane in cauliflower might help reduce high blood pressure. It can also help in managing blood sugar levels, which is important because consistently high blood sugar can cause many complications in CKD patients. Lastly, cauliflower is also a good source of fiber. This fiber content promotes the excretion of waste products via your gut, which otherwise could increase creatinine levels. Number two, onion. Onions have been traditionally used to treat mouth sores, headaches, and even heart disease. They contain a special compound that has specifically been studied for kidney-friendly benefits. In fact, during a 2016 study involving lab rats, experts observed that allicin, which is a bioactive compound in onions, reduced serum creatinine levels, blood urea nitrogen, bun levels, overall body weight, blood pressure, and proteinuria, and improved urine volume, demonstrating an improved kidney function and GFR. A 2022 review study even suggested that allicin might be as effective as enalapril, which is a common ACE inhibitor used to control blood pressure. Onions are a rich source of many antioxidants, including around 17 important flavonoids. 
Especially red onions contain a special plant pigment and a flavonoid group called anthocyanins. This flavonoid group has been shown to protect against diabetes and many types of cancer. A 2010 study analyzed the effect of 100 grams of onion on 84 people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Study experts found that just after four hours, there was a significant decrease in blood sugar levels. So we can say that onion might not directly lower creatinine levels in the blood. However, it does help control other risk factors of kidney disease, indirectly improving GFR. Number three, ginger. Ginger is usually consumed in fresh, dried, and powder form and offers various health benefits, especially kidney health. It contains a special bioactive compound called gingerol that can improve kidney function in various ways. First, it acts as an antioxidant and neutralizes harmful free radicals in the body. These free radicals can cause serious damage to different organs, including kidneys. Some studies also suggest that ginger extract might have the ability to lower creatinine levels in the blood, along with urea and uric acid levels. During a study conducted in 2019, participants were treated with 100 to 200 grams of ginger extract to see its effects on urea and creatinine levels. They found that ginger extract helped improve overall kidney function and also decreased urea and creatinine levels. Some researchers proposed that ginger might even have anti-diabetic properties. A review study published in 2022 found a clear reduction in fasting blood sugar levels in type 2 diabetic patients. They studied the results of 10 trials in which the participants took 1,200 to 3,000 milligrams of ginger per day for 8 to 13 weeks. After 12 weeks, they found a 12% decrease in participants' fasting blood sugar, a 10% decrease in their HbA1c, and a 23 to 28% decrease in their oxidative stress markers. Another review study showed a significant decrease in LDL cholesterol in people who took 1,500 milligrams of ginger supplements daily. Most experts recommend taking three to four grams of ginger per day for most people, except for pregnant women who should completely avoid or stick to less than one gram of ginger per day. Plus, remember that ginger also has blood thinning properties and it can interact with certain medications used to control clotting factors, blood pressure, or diabetes. So talk to your healthcare expert about the safe amount of ginger or its supplements based on your health condition. Number four, cabbage. Like cauliflower, cabbage is another cruciferous vegetable that contains lower levels of sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. Cabbage is rich in many antioxidants that can help reduce oxidative stress on the kidneys and other organs. These antioxidants, particularly sulfur-based compounds, have even been shown to reduce the risk of many chronic diseases, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, arthritis, chronic kidney disease, liver disease, and several types of cancer. Cabbage is a good source of fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, and folic acid. Among red, white, and green cabbage, Red cabbage provides more antioxidants and special compounds that support both heart and kidney health. These compounds have been shown to prevent the oxidation of LDL cholesterol, preventing it from becoming plaque and depositing inside arteries. Number five, berries. All types of berries are rich in many compounds that are particularly important for kidney health. When someone has kidney disease, they need to be extra careful about the foods that are particularly high in potassium, Luckily, berries are naturally low in potassium, phosphorus, and sodium, making them a safe option for most kidney patients. Among berries, blueberries, strawberries, and cranberries are considered to be the best options. They are among the best sources of vitamin C, which can help heal and repair kidneys and potentially improve their GFR. Cranberries in particular offer one additional benefit. They contain a special group of antioxidants called PACs, which prevent bacteria from sticking to the bladder and urinary tract walls. And that's mainly why they're often recommended to prevent and treat urinary tract infections. That said, it's also important to avoid eating too many cranberries or drinking cranberry juice, especially if you have a history of kidney stones. They're high in oxalates, which can promote the production of calcium oxalate kidney stones. Number six, grapes. Among other kidney-friendly fruits, Grapes might provide you with the perfect combination of nutrients. 
Grapes contain important compounds and vitamins that directly and indirectly help improve kidney function. For example, grapes provide a good amount of B vitamins like riboflavin, thiamine, and B6. Among them, B6 is helpful in protein metabolism and might also lower the risk of kidney stone formation, according to some studies. Riboflavin acts as an antioxidant fights against oxidative stress and also helps in the growth and reproduction of red blood cells. Compounds present in grapes might also help in managing cholesterol levels in the blood by decreasing cholesterol absorption. One research about this effect was conducted on 69 participants. They consumed three cups, 500 grams, of red grapes for eight weeks, and the results showed a significant decrease in LDL cholesterol in their blood. Reducing bad cholesterol levels could mean that it is indirectly lowering the risk of high blood pressure and heart disease. This, in turn, can enhance blood flow to the kidneys and protect them from being damaged by high blood pressure. Black and red grapes might also be good against high creatinine levels. Both these kinds are high in a special type of antioxidant called resveratrol. Studies show that this compound might help reduce inflammation in the kidneys, allowing them to heal and improving their ability to filter blood. But remember that grapes are high in sugar. So if you have type 2 diabetes or uncontrolled blood sugar, eat them in moderation and avoid drinking grape juice. You can also combine them with foods that can slow down the absorption of sugar, such as almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, oatmeal, Greek yogurt, or a delicious veggie salad. Number seven, basil. Basil is an herb that has been traditionally used for treating fluid retention, kidney stones, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, stomach cramps, and even worm infections. While basil comes in various varieties, Holy basil is most commonly used in supplements and basil tea. As mentioned earlier, people suffering from diabetes have a high risk of developing chronic kidney disease compared to others. A study used 250 milligrams of basil extract on 60 participants with type 2 diabetes. At the same time, they were also using a diabetes drug before breakfast and dinner. After three months of treatment, researchers found a sharp 18% decrease in their average blood sugar levels. Basil leaf extracts have also been shown to help manage high blood pressure, another risk factor for kidney disease. It can help lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the body. However, you need to be careful while taking basil leaves or extract, particularly if you're already taking blood thinners or other medications to lower high blood pressure. Basil leaves might interact with them, or cause the blood pressure to go too low. Plus, basil belongs to the mint family, so be careful if you're allergic to mint. Avoid taking basil leaf extract without consulting your healthcare expert, as it is highly concentrated. Basil leaf tea sounds like a good idea. You can make it using five to 10 fresh basil leaves or one teaspoon of dried basil leaves to make a cup of basil tea. Number eight, cherries. Cherries are low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, making them a safer food even for people in advanced stages of kidney disease. However, sweet cherries are relatively high in potassium compared to sour cherries. Sweet cherries have about 173 milligrams, while sour cherries have 222 milligrams of potassium per 100 grams. Besides that, cherries are also rich in anti-inflammatory compounds that can reduce inflammation in the kidneys, allowing them to heal and improve their GFR. Plus, they can help in managing other risk factors for kidney disease, including high blood sugar and high blood pressure. They're also high in sugar, but don't worry, because this sugar content is balanced by a good amount of fiber, so eating whole cherries is less likely to cause blood sugar spikes. Another important thing, if you want to improve GFR and lower your creatinine levels, simply adding these foods to your diet might not be enough. You also need to be careful about certain foods that can be bad for the kidneys, ones that can increase creatinine, decrease GFR, or worsen kidney disease indirectly. Let's talk briefly about the foods you should avoid to manage creatinine levels. Number one, potatoes. They are a potassium-rich food. Almost 926 milligrams of potassium is present in one medium-baked potato with its skin. Boiling potatoes reduces the potassium content of potassium, However, they still contain over 400 milligrams of potassium, which might not be good for someone with kidney disease. Number two, tomato. 
Just one medium fresh tomato contains about 292 milligrams of potassium, but you might not need to completely avoid it unless your potassium levels are already too high. Talk to your doctor about how many tomatoes or how much tomato sauce you can eat daily. Number three, processed meats. Meats are already high in protein and can contribute to high creatinine levels in the blood. But eating processed meats might be much worse as they're often high in sodium salts and can be even worse if they're fried in unhealthy kinds of vegetable oils like chicken nuggets and kebabs. It's best to avoid them altogether. Number four, sugary and salty foods. Avoid going overboard with foods or drinks that contain refined carbs or added sugar. Both these things increase blood sugar, which cannot be just bad for diabetics, but also non-diabetics with kidney problems. Similarly, salty foods contribute to high blood pressure, which is a major risk factor for kidney disease. Number five, dried fruits. Particularly apricots, prunes, raisins, and dates are calorie dense and are high in potassium, so don't eat them too much. If you want to know more about how you can improve your overall kidney health, be sure to watch these videos too.